all right guys welcome back so uh key the scientist he did get back to me and he gave me a diagram for a power suit he's like the power suit is going to help you guys build the bridge that much faster which is good so all i gotta do is build this power suit and we should be good to go <laughs> sometimes hard to control the horse so let's look at it actually where's it at oh here it is r47 mobile suit a symbol so yeah i just gotta build this power suit and we're good but before i do that two quests also popped up one popped up right here iron chef free cities i don't know what that means and another one popped up here at the salvage place so let's look at iron chef free cities mysterious man how fortunate of us to have cross paths it just so happens that you're my first customer of the day tell me how's your brother doing my brother i don't have a brother do i perfect that reminds me i'm looking for someone to cooperate with on a little side gig of mine if you're the right person for the job there could be a lot of profit to be made want to hear my offer I mean, I do, but why'd you ask if I had a brother? You know of cooking, right? Basically, it's building with food. Hence my interest in working with you. No, no. No need to find a professional chef. That'll be too pricey. Anyway, I was traveling through Seaside, and I picked up a few of their signature peppers. They range from the super spicy, to the hyper numbing, to the ultra pungent all uniquely delicious borderline nutritious and go well at just about any dish and by any dish in this case i mean noodles as something of a noodle connoisseur myself i have a keen nose for what makes them pop my thoughts are that these peppers may very well hold the key to reaching noodle nirvana <laughs> so basically he wants me to make him ramen but why stop at just filling our stomachs when we could fill our wallets as well <laughs> I'm sure that once someone creates the dish I have in mind, people will be lining up for decades just to get one whiff of them. Which brings me to my point. You have a cooking station. That makes you as qualified as anyone. Once you get the dish right, I'll sell the recipe all around the free cities. We'll do it real fair, real amicable-like. Nice and square. 70-30. 70-30? 50, 50. Well, well, someone's acting shrewd. I tell you what, I'm in a good mood today, and I like your backbone. 50 50 it is. I'll concede a bit and give you my peppers, but don't think my first offer wasn't fair now. Good, it's a deal then. Now, my only hope is that you might succeed where others have failed. For this dish, let me be as precise as possible. You'll first need a bone broth as the base, and the noodles should be handmade with flour. Before boiling them, you'll need to add some leafy vegetables, as well as some seasoned fresh meat. Then, it's time to add my seaside peppers. I've blended 18 peppers and spices together to make my own secret seasoning. My senses are tingling just thinking about it. Builder. If you pull this off, we'll become a part of culinary history. In any case, you'd best figure this out in the next three days. You know how I roll, right? Can't stay in any place for more than three days. Usually it's two. I'm doing you a favor here. Plus, there are others out there who can build things with food, you know. Come find me when you've created the dish. Okay, he's very particular. Actually, really, I wanted to come to you because you sell some good items that you can't find anywhere else. Like wristbands. I don't think I have any wristbands. Garlic, cilantro, peppers. Large storage chests. I think I need that. Cause I have so many smaller storage chests and it's just, they just get in the way. 
I'll buy two. Okay, so I have three days to complete this. <laughs> These ramen noodles, I mean... Mm, I need... I have meat. I need bone broth and vegetables. Okay, let's go to the local store. I don't know if he has all that though. I do want to get it right, so let's see. I buy some flour. He said leafy vegetables, but what vegetables are we talking here? Mm. Right here it says these are a good choice for cooking. I don't know if these count as vegetables. They're expensive though, so I'll buy only a few. There's really like no explanation. Let me go to the Blue Moon Saloon. I know they also sell food. I really want to make it right. Okay, so this must be the leafy greens because the leafy vegetables because all I see people are selling. Uh, I think that's it really. He's, he pretty much sells four dishes. All right, let's go try to cook this. I really want to see what happens if we get it right. I never thought that in a farming game slash management you know, sim. <laughs> I will have a gun for one. And now I'm cooking ramen noodles. Alright. So let's save this. So basically, according to the description, you use handmade noodles, plus fresh and tender meats. How do I make bone broth though? I need to get bones, but who, where do I get bones from? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Like I said, I have meat. Exactly why I need a large storage chest. Got too much going on here. Okay. And I have no recipes. So if I just put flour, is it steam or cooking pot? Maybe steam? Cooking pot. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Got noodles, got noodles. All right. So then if I just put vegetables, nothing. All right. If I just put meat, nothing. What if I put meat and vegetables? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> um... Okay, but with the noodles, can I? So basically I made a dish. But can I use these to make the ultimate dish? if I add flour nothing okay let 
<laughs> That's definitely not what I wanted to make. Okay, well the thing is, I know how to make noodles. But how do you boil meat? Oh, okay. I made fine beef noodles. But with the ingredients, I can't add it. Do I have to upgrade the cooking station? Maybe it's because my cooking station isn't upgraded. I don't know. Mm, that's really frustrating. Well, I have three days. So I need to see what's going on with that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and check out the other quest. And I'm gonna get back to cooking later. Let's see what y'all got. Are you sure there really ain't nothing I can do to change your mind? Anything at all? Nope. Sandrock is history. I'm out. Well, that's just we like go to our you later. travels. Dang it. There goes the best onsword of this company ever had. What about me, sir? Boss, I heard there's a machine that does sorting. Maybe we could commission one from a builder to help out now that we're short-handed. Sir, what about me? Can both of you two shut up? I'm kind of emotional over here. Besides, ain't no machine that does sorting. No, I'm pretty sure she's right. Hey, builder, over here. Do you know anything about a sorting machine? I can See, find out. I knew there was such a thing as a sorting machine. You can research it with Director Chi, right? What do you say, boss? Can we make an official commission for a sorting machine? Uh, sure. I don't know, whatever. Who cares? Oh, his feelings are hurt. I say we go for it. I'm not doing extra work just because Bama thinks this place is drying up. It's our best chance to stay in business, boss. We should take it. Yeah, yeah, all right. Even if I said no, looks like it's four, uh, three against one anyway. And one thing we don't do here at Ufala Salvage is undermine democracy. Yo, you heard the boys. One sorting machine. Hold the mustard. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta go to Chi and figure out a sorting machine. Man, see, now all that cooking is like stuck in my head because I want to know how exactly. I cooked those ramen noodles. And it's gonna bother me if I don't figure it out, but I'm gonna figure it out off camera. And then when I do figure it out, I'll let you guys know. Let's go ahead and build this hydraulic suit. And look at us. Hydraulic suit for the wind. I got stuff in my inventory I need to manage. Everything in the in these inventories, I'm gonna put in the giant inventory. I'm gonna do that later. Because as you can see, we get a lot of junk that we need to keep. And the game does not do a good job of giving us a lot of space for it. All right. Really quick, let me turn in this commission. After I turn in this commission, then we will head over to the bridge. All right, to the bridge we go.
I believe everyone should still be at the bridge. Yeah. So this is it. The definitely not a Gunga mobile suit. While you were working, I factored this thing into my construction plan, and with it, we'll be able to finish what's left of the bridge base in just two days. And since that's the case, I'll send word to Atara and have them send us a bridge inspector on the double. We'll have water trains back in Sandrock in no time flat. That she really has an amazing mind. Though, you'll never hear me say it to him. If his head got any more full of hot air, I think he might just float away. And we need him here, don't we? Well, thanks again for all your efforts. I'll show Chi your work. I think he'll be very impressed with how faithful you've been to his design. Be ready to install those load-bearing trusses you built before. All right. So in two days time, we'll have this bridge finish about time. And let me go talk to Chi because I also need to build a sorting machine. So that's something. Oh, I love horses in the game. Look how fast they go. So nice. All right, Chi, what else can you diagram up that I can build? A sorting machine, quite doable. Bring me five data disks and you'll have what you want. Heidi show me the mobile suit. It's exactly as I imagined. I've come to find that I can consistently rely on you to deliver results. That's what we all. Here you data okay, disk. I'll get started. Check your mail soon. All right. Good to know. Okay, guys, with that being said, I guess in two days in game time, we'll go ahead and come back and we'll see how this bridge is looking in the next part. And as far as the sorting machine goes, then I'll go ahead and film this sorting machine too. I'll see you guys in the next part. Alright, bye bye.